Okay, um, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just started recording so that you can even watch the uh, recorded tutorial or video after the session. Uh, let me share my screen. So what you have to do, uh, especially Shubhajit and others, those who are joining new, you have to download Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can just Google. I can send you the link, the way we downloaded earlier. And you will need also download Git. Okay, git, just you can write git download and you can find it on Google, maybe here, here, this one. And another technology we need to use that is GitHub, github.com, just go to github.com and just register here, just join here and take the uh, free opportunity to sign up. If you want to pay uh, maybe $7 per month, you can pay, but I recommend not to pay before you become expert, okay? So just for practicing, we don't need to pay. But if you want, you can pay because when you pay, you get better service, okay? So I think Subhajit is out due to internet unstability. Okay, uh, let, let us Uh, start with Git. And let me close each and everything. There we already open. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to open Git. I just write Git and choose the Git bash, okay? Shubhajit is trying again to join. So what I have done is just I type here, type here to search Git, but before you can use it, what you have to do, you have to download it. I will send you the link so that you can download it. Then press enter and the Git bash will be opening here, okay? You can make it white or you can maximize it just clicking here and just press control plus, it will be bigger and control minus, it will reduce the size. So you can make it bigger and smaller at the same time. And at the very beginning, what you have to learn is you have to learn usage of Git or Git bash. It is version control to manage your files and folders very quickly. 
you can use oh, usually we use uh, manually what we do we use our user interface this is our user interface and what we do we just do right click then go to new create folder and we we can name it we can name it programming programming today say for example and what do we do we do double click and open the files or folders this this are folder this is folder and what we do we just right button click again and if we want to create new folder we can create new folder just clicking here and we can say say for example another folder and if we want to create a file new file what do we do we just use text documents right and we can name it maybe uh, bd dot html this is html file okay so we can name it like this but it usually takes much more time than usual why because we have to do right click or double click then we, we have to write it at the very beginning it it might seem to you this is the better way to create files and folders and manage them but after a couple of weeks when you do practice you can differentiate actually this is this takes much longer time than using a git or a git bash so this way you can create and maintain your files we usually do we general people do like this way but those who are software developer or software engineer they don't handle things manually they don't uh, the way we do is we just write cd cd is a command cd means what Shajib? Change, change directory change directory what is directory uh folder i path it's, it's the type of path yeah actually directory is the synonym of the word folder okay so okay. when i am writing command for the git i'm saying git change directory means change the folder so i am telling the git change directory to desktop i'm telling git to go to desktop of my computer so now we are on our desktop now i'll say you know, I, I can see what are on my desktop ls means show lists always show list so these are the folders i have these are the directories or folders i have on my desktop okay so what i can do i can just clear it i just write clear and press enter and now i can say make directory make directory mkdir this is also command make directory means create a directory directory means folder the name of the folder is where programming bd say for example and i can check whether it is created show list 
web programming BD has been created. And if you go to your user interface of your computer, I mean desktop, you can find here where? Web, web, web programming. Can you see? Can you see web programming? Lot of files here, so folders here, that's why it might be difficult to find it out. Maybe web programming, web programming. Can you see? What is web programming? I think this one, right? So you can open from here also, okay? And you can just keep it on the right and watch very carefully what's going on, okay? So now we are inside the web programming BD. This is empty now, right? This is empty, empty right now. Now what I can do, I can keep side by side and watch what's going on, okay? Let me clear it. So I just write clear, then press enter. It has been cleared. Now, where are we? We are on the desktop, right? Yes. But we created this folder. So I want to access this folder. I want to go to this folder. How I, I can go? I can CD. write CD, means change directory, changing folder to web programming BD. And now we are inside web programming BD. If you check it LS, you will find there is nothing because this is empty, right? Now, inside this, I want to create some folders and files, how I can do it. Say for example, uh, I am creating an HTML file to Create file, we use another command. This is this is touch. So I can say index.html and press enter. And you see index.html file has been created. All right. Now we are inside this folder. Inside this folder. We want to create another folder and name of the folder is, the command is make directory, mkdir, and name of the folder is, say for example, CSS. And you see CSS folder has been created. We can see the difference. The folder is like a box and file is a little bit different. Now, I want to create something inside the CSS, okay? Then what I have to do, I have to access this folder first, right? How I can access. How I can access. I have to say CD, then name of the file. If I just write C and press tab, Git is very intelligent. It can understand what I'm going to do. I don't need to write whole name of the file. It can pick up when I write couple of characters or letters and press tab button. It automatically choose the folder that I want to pick up. Okay, so I'm now inside CSS folder. Now I'm inside of it, okay? So inside of it, I want to create another file, new file, that is CSS file. What is the command to create a new file? Touch, right? Touch, yes. touch, 
style dot uh, css this is css file so for html we have what is it dot html html what is it web page mm. to create a html file we have to write any name then dot html okay and the same way when we want to create css file we have to write dot css name can be anything okay so you can check ls a style dot css has been created inside the folder css you can check double click here is style dot css okay now i want to i want to step back i want to step out go out from css folder okay how i can step back cd one white space in programming language this space means white space we call white space cd white space dot dot two dots and we will step out from css folder to web programming bd you see now we are on web programming bd okay i can make a little bit smaller maybe so that you can see each and everything and again i can clear the canvas okay now we are inside web programming bd now what else do we need to create the folder structures for our website or web application we need assets okay or images or images you can say images it can be anything but the modern web technology world we use assets someone is trying to join i think who nangrim okay now what are we going to do we are going to create another folder what is the command to create another folder mkdir mkdir means make directory directory means folder folder okay. gift from june once we have removed 40 minute time limit on your group meeting okay love it <laughs> okay so assets inside the assets you can put any design you can put graphic design you can put logo you can put pictures okay so see assets folder has been created do you use git to create folders shubhajit can you hear me His mic is off. Yeah, I'm trying to unmute it, but I cannot unmute you, it. You can <laughs> unmute it. He will unmute it. Yeah, he can. But can you hear me, Shubhajit? I cannot hear you. Nangrim, can you hear me? Nangrim. Okay, I think they can hear me, but I cannot hear them. Okay, now I have to put assets inside of it. So I actually can use any pictures. I can just drag and drop, but later we can do it. So now what else we need? I can 
let me where are we uh, inside the programming bd right i can create also another folder folder on it can be uh, js javascript okay javascript folder is created and cd means change directory i want to access this folder so when i will access this folder there will be tick mark okay uh, i just say cd js and i am now inside the js and it, there should be tick mark but it's not working maybe right at, at this time okay let's um create a js folder sorry not folder it's a file touch uh, you can say app dot name can be anything dot js okay you can check it and app dot js folder is inside js folder right here okay now let's step back I'm stepping back from JS folder to web programming BD. Okay. Even you can step back at, at once from beginning to end if you want to do it. You can just write CD tilde. Okay. I can say CD tilde. This is tilde. Okay. Tilde sign. And you can see it directly come to the end. You don't need to step back again and again. CD dot dot, CD dot dot, CD dot dot. You can do it once at a time. Uh, when you press enter, you see now you are out of even desktop. You are not even in the desktop. Again, if you want to go to desktop, what do you have to do? Just say CD desk desk and press tab, automatically it will uh, be written what you want to pick up because uh, Git is uh, very intelligent software, okay? Again, I want to go to access web programming, CD web programming BD. If you just tap enter, You see, it chooses couple of web because it's not not actually sure because web programming there are couple of web, you know. So in this case, what you have to do, you have to choose web programming. At least you have to write B, then it can understand. Okay. Now. You want to open it in a text editor. You can use any text editor. There are more than 20 text editors. And each of them are good, but I prefer uh, Visual Studio Code. This is the best, actually. Uh, Visual Studio Code is owned by Microsoft, this one, okay? So you have to download it. I will send you the link how you can download all these things. I'm not discussing it right now here. And to open the Visual Studio Code, you can just type code. Then there will be a white space, then dot, and press enter. And it will open in a code editor. automatically all right it's opening it takes time depending on the speed of your computer and internet okay actually speed up your computer maybe welcome and you see all the folder structure we have created here are on this project explorer Okay, I just cut out the um, welcome and 
now whatever you want to use just click and start using okay this folder this is index.html and index.html you know this is the structure for any website web application or software okay to build any application website software we need html this is the structure and to beautify the web application or website we need uh, css so usually the job of html is to create the structure and the job of css is to beautify or beautification of the structure what we are building and javascript actually gives the functionality like if you compare with a building html construct the building and css paint the building to make it beautiful okay furnish the building to color the building and javascript is give the function of the building like um, electricity gas telephone connection internet connection this can be compared with the functionality of the javascript okay so without javascript web application will be a dead application people will not going to use it if people are not using the clients are not using company is not making money all right so the purpose of using javascript programming is to make the web application or software functional very responsive make it more interactive to the clients or the visitors so that they stay more on the web application they use it when they use it they buy product from the web application or from website and thus the company makes money okay say for example uh, facebook facebook.com it is an application if people don't use it mark zuckerberg is not going to make billion billion dollar okay so to engage these people or the users or the clients he has to give the interactive functionality so that people love it they engage on it they post they advertise okay and it will engage more people and the more people engage on the posting on videos on photos okay or on the application any part of the application the more facebook company is making every single day okay so html css javascript both three are very important uh, languages though html is not complete programming language not a programming language it is hypertext markup language markup language css is not a programming language it is also it is, uh, cascading style sheet cascading style sheet. yeah okay but js javascript is complete programming language it's a complete programming language if you just learn javascript well you have job and javascript engineers or programmers make hundred thousand dollar per year in the united states so if you just learn basic html css if you just can read and code an expert in javascript you can get job even from any country you can work remotely online so 
each and every language is very important, but JavaScript is number one programming language right now. The highest demand in the market is on JavaScript. Second demand is Python. Third demand on the market is Java. And so on, so on. Uh, we have uh, Shisha, we have C++, we have Ruby, we have Perl, we have PHP. Too many programming and, languages. And Portal language. Yeah. I think that was oldest. And Golang also. <laughs> okay. So it's not possible to learn each and every language. Not necessary. If you can learn one language well, all logic are same. You can pick up very quickly. If you can learn JavaScript well, you can pick up Java, you can pick up Python, you can pick up PHP within very short time, maybe within a month. But to become expert on a programming language, you must practice at least six months, okay? But teachers usually they recommend one year before you go to work, apply for the job, you should practice at least one year. Six months is enough if, if you can invest three, four hours every single day. But if you, if you can't, if you can just engage one or two hours, that's enough. You have to practice a year to become master over any programming language, okay? The more you practice, the more you become expert, the more you become confident, the more you become a problem solver, okay? Uh, companies are paying you that much money because the programmers, the software engineers are making the highest money in the world, you know? You know, right? If you if you make a list of twenty richest people in the world, you will find they are programmer, they are web developer, they are software engineers, they are computer engineers. Okay, so if you become master, you can become also. Uh, money maker okay uh, like mm, facebook.com it's making billion billion dollar every single month billion billion dollar with just single web application google.com making billion billion 100 billion dollars thousand billion dollars every single month and they have thousand software engineers working with them and even if you um, think about um, YouTube, youtube.com was developed by Bangladeshi American guy. His name is Jawad Karim along with his three other friends. And just after they develop it, they sell it for uh, $67.5 million, right? It's not thousand, it's a million dollar, youtube.com. Uh, and now if you want to buy it, you have to pay maybe thousand billion dollar. Maybe still Google is not going to sell it. Uh, and if you, we are, we will be using, uh, We will be using uh, GitHub every single day. GitHub, okay. Sorry, sir, what is that? Git? I'm showing you github.com. GitHub, GitHub. GitHub.com, GitHub.com. This website, this is a web application, single, very simple web application, you see? Not fancy, not a fancy, only a couple of pages, okay. When they were creating it, they said, we will make it, I think four or five friends, they make it. 
let, let me check it on Google it's github okay when they first make it they said we are going to make it million dollar website and people laughed at them come on how a website can be million dollar website now look after one year people believe it is million dollar website and people were interested to buy it different companies they proposes they proposed to buy it for million dollar. And they said, we are working one year. Okay, how many people? I think four or five. You can check here. Founders, Tom, Preston, Chris, four people. Okay, they are four friends. And after a year, they said, ah, no more million dollar. It's a billion dollar website. Okay, people say, are you kidding with us? Billion dollar, this website? <laughs> okay, and after three years, people think, ah, because all developers or software engineers are using it. So, yeah, it can be billion dollar. And now people after three years, they say, okay, billion dollar, I want to buy it. And they said, are you kidding with us? We four people working three years, and now just billion dollar, it's now $10 billion website. Come on. And finally, Microsoft bought it for 7.5 billion, not million, billion dollar in 2018. So, why I am in this industry is uh, I'm programming last 14 years, 14 years. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. But now I want to start working and create something like this web application that can be sold million or billion dollar. So in our whole life, we work, keep working. We cannot say maybe not even $100,000, million, let alone million. But if you learn programming language and invest your time couple of years, it is possible to make billion dollar. In front of, of my eyes uh, since 2007, I saw at least 20 programmers who become millionaire, billionaire in front of my eyes. When I first met them, become uh, familiar with them, they were just simple guy like us, without money. Their money back was empty, okay? <laughs> empty money back. But now they are millionaires, some of them are billionaires, okay? Because some of them teaching Three hundred thousand dollar, uh, three hundred thousand students online. If you go to Udemy, there are some people. The, uh, I, I think they are available on Google, like Rob Percival. This guy was simple. Simple high school teacher, okay? You see how many students he is teaching? 500,000. 500,000 and every student paying him maybe some some of them are paying $5,000, some if, of them if, paying. If you want, if you want pay $1, I guess he earned $500,000 already. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is billionaire now, billionaire. But when I first came to know about him in 2011, he was simple a math teacher, high school teacher, barely making uh, 300, uh, 3,000 pounds maybe per month. But now he is making million dollars per month because He become web developer. In last 
seven years he become billionaire uh, like there are some more teachers like Cole still Cole still he is teaching I think million students million you know he is the king in New York City okay teaching programming and taking 20,000 from per student just teaching HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. For three months, he is charging $20,000. Very expensive teacher. And there are more like, I know, hundred of programming teachers who are making millions. Okay, so, this is very important to understand the industry you are coming in. Uh, sky is the limit, okay? But before start making that amount of money, you have to invest your time in practicing every single day, at least six months, okay? Now, it's very, very simple. Just we press control button, then it's shift, I think, shift button in, in, um, uh, in Windows, if you are using Windows, then just press enter. And this is the HTML structure. We call it syntax, okay? Uh, in programming language, we call it also boilerplate. We call it boilerplate, okay? Boilerplate. These are called boilerplate or structure or syntax. HTML syntax. Syntax is nothing but grammar. Okay. Now, you see, the first line is doc type, HTML, angle bracket, less than, and this is greater than, right? We call it also angle bracket. Inside the angle bracket, we write, so like this, angle bracket, exclamation sign, then doc type is capital, then HTML. Then angle bracket. Okay. Then HTML, 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 we call it tag. Okay. HTML. This is opening HTML tag and closing tag. The main feature or characteristics of HTML is the tags or elements comes in pairs, okay? It has opening tag, it has closing tag. So it starts with opening tag or opening elements. Mostly we say tag and also it closes with the same element or same tag HTML. But the difference is opening tag doesn't have this slash, but closing tag has slash, okay? Now, inside the HTML tag, HTML tag is parent element, okay? And everything inside are the parent child element or grandchild element, okay? And when it goes inside a parent element, it step right one tab, one tab, okay? One tab is equal to two spaces on space bar. So what I did, I just select it and press on tab button 
and it goes to the right, one step right. In programming language, we call it indentation. It's called indentation. So we indent. So this is head tag and inside the head tag, we always keep information. We call in programming language metadata. Metadata means data, information. All the links goes here inside the tag. Inside our head, we keep our brain, right? All information are on our head. The same way inside the head tag, we keep information. We call it metadata. Okay. And this metadata is not visible on the website or web application. Okay. If you go to google.com, this is Google interface. Okay. Whatever we write, if you just right button click here and go to view page source, you will find a lot of languages here. You see, it starts with doc type HTML and this is head, no? All are head. Inside the head, you can see only information, metadata, links, and these links are not visible on the website. It's not visible on the website. It's not visible. But whatever we write inside the body, body tag, body goes to the end. You see body completes here. Whatever you write inside the body, it will be visible on the website. Okay. So whatever you write inside the body, it will be visible inside the website on, on the website. Okay. Now, so whatever we will write inside the body, it will be visible. Now, every programming language we write here, okay? Programming language will not be visible, but the content will be visible. The contents can be article, it can be video, it can be audio, it can be photo, okay? And so on. All right, so I want to write, say, for example, H1 tag. I say, welcome to software engineering course. Now just save it, Control S, right button click, open with live server. Welcome to software engineer, software engineering course, okay? Now, this is H1 tag. Now you want to write H2. H1 has up to H6 tag. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are excited, say for example, excited to have you here you can say h6 things there are lots say for example and now you can visit your website this is your first website this is h2 this is h6 okay now say for example you want to start with content article p tag i just write p then press enter and p tag is there and i just write lorem and 300 
300 means I want 300 words. Now, when you work for any company, it can be Facebook, it can be Google, it can be NASA or <coughs> YouTube or PayPal, whatever, or Bangladesh Bank or Central Bank or Federal Bank, whatever company you are working, when they give you to develop software or web application, they don't give you content. They just tell you, we want this, 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 and your business analyst will gather the uh, requirements and prepare the document requirements and according to the requirements, uh, graphic designer, they will design the website, they will show the picture of the website and seeing the picture, design of the website and the uh, document, we say requirement, requirement document, we build or develop the web application or website, okay? Now they don't give us content. So how we can do it? We, we can use dummy content. So lorem ipsum is dummy content, okay? So I just write lorem, then press enter, how many words I want, and automatically the text is there. I don't need to write them, okay? Again, open it and check, it has been written. Now, when you submit this web application to the company, they have their own content engineers. They change the contents, okay? Actually, they are also expert. They know each and everything. How does the web application works? How it is built, okay? Now, we need what? Picture, we want to put picture here. So I want to take pictures from downloads. I want to grab these three pictures, say for example. I just drag it and drop inside the assets, okay? Now inside the assets, I have these three photos. Okay, we can rename it. If we want, we can rename it, actually. Uh, but it's not necessary if you don't want to rename it, not necessary, but you can say, my photo and you can come on it's better to rename it when it is in the download folder okay uh, my photo come on Okay, we can do it later. Oh, my photo is okay. So this is my photo one. And this is my photo three. All right, now, now what I'm going to do, I want to use a picture, where? Say for example here. So what I can do, we can use image tag, okay? So inside the image tag, we have SRC means source and at the right hand we have what is it quotation inside the quotation we have to put the path of the photo so what we have the name of the folder is assets so we have to mention assets okay and then when you put slash it's showing which photo you want to use. Say for example, I want to use three, okay? In name of the alternative alt, just give a name. 
you can say photo of the children or school kids whatever and when you go back to your website you see it's a huge picture okay now uh, how you can make it proper size just you can say width width can be anything you can say 700 and height uh, say for example 400 okay and just check it now it has been resized okay now I want to use here another picture so there will be image tag okay before maybe before the picture I want to use another paragraph I just say lorem and it is 150 say for example okay and I want to use another picture you see when I just write a it's showing assets just click here then which picture you want to use say for example I want to use one alternative I can say kids photo and the height and width will be the same right so I just copy it. actually the developers most of the time they don't code 80% time they copy and paste okay so what I'll do I just copy it and paste it okay now you can go and check same size okay now again say for example I need another is to tag our mission say for example and I say p tag lorem how many 100 say for example and I want here a video okay I want video how I can embed video company what they do they keep or upload video inside uh, YouTube or um, on any cloud storage it can be anything actually okay then I can I can choose any I want to choose uh, want to choose this okay so how you can do it just click here click click on Click on embed and copy. I just copy it. Okay. Then go here and paste it. Now the size of the photo and video will be the same. So I can resize it 700 with a 700. And height is. 400 and now check uh, I can run it again right now what do we want to do 
we want to style it. Style means we want to give, we want to beautify our web application. So how we do it? We just go to CSS file. Where is CSS? Right here. Okay. Now you can say, just you select whatever you want to beautify. Say for example, I want to beautify H1, H1, only this one. So what I can do, I can select H1, H1, this is CSS. CSS has syntax. The syntax is, it comes with a selector. If you want to change or beautify H1, just select H1, then give calibrations. It comes with calibrations. Then you can say background. When you write back, it pops up, you can choose anything. What do you want? I want background color to be red, say for example. Okay. And it's not changing. Why? Because this file index.html and style.css file is not, not connected. Not connected. So we have to tell the browser these are connected. Just write link, press enter. So already here. So how you will connect? href means hyper reference. You have to refer what link are you going to connect? You are going to connect style.css with HTML. So I just write name of this style.css folder. This is CSS, okay? And name of the file is style.css. Save it, control S. Now you can see it has been connected or not. The background color has become red. So you know it has been connected. Okay, but you want the color of this text to be green, say for example. So you can say, color is green. Save it and check it. It has become green, okay. Now you want background color to all your website to be gray, say for example. So what you can do, you can just select body. Body, body of your website will be uh, background color to be, uh, say for example, gray. and it has become gray, okay? Now, you want maybe this content to be gold. So, what selector you will choose? p tag, right? So, you just write P and you want to change the color of the text to be gold, say for example. And it has become all gold, okay? Right? This way you can change. And what else you want actually? Say for example, you want um, header. So how you can put header? You can put D and you can wrap it. You put all 
each and everything inside a div. This is the best practice actually. Say for example, D. And what you can do, you can select it and tap one time to become, make it indented. How? You can indent it, press on tap button and it has become indented. And you can put, wrap it with ID. You can name it anything. You can say wrapper. You can name it anything actually. You can name by your name, okay? And what you can do inside this main div, you can create several divs actually. You can say div, what is it? What is hash? Has his ID, right? Yes. Has his ID. So you are saying div, I want an ID and name of the ID will be, say for example, header. And press enter, it will automatically be written for you. Okay. Now, inside this header, what do you want actually? Say for example, you want neighbor. Div, you can say neighbor is class, say for example. It can be ID also. Class is dot, okay? And ID and class is same, but ID can be used only once on a page. ID can be used once. Say for example, ID is header. This ID header can be used only once. Second time you cannot use ID header again. But class can be used again and again. So when you need to use several times, more than two times, you use uh, class, okay? When you need to use just one time, you use ID, okay? Now, I just one class and I want to say this is navigation bar, nav bar. Press enter and it has been written for me, okay? Now, how we create navigation bar? You can say UL. UL means unordered list, okay? And inside the UL, you can make a list. LI means list, list making. You are making list. And inside of it, you take, you take anchor tag, anchor tag. It can be index dot html then name it home page this is home right now you need home page you need uh, about page you need what else services you need contact page so we need three more pages say for example i just just press what How I can copy? Control enter. Control enter? No, no, no. Control. Down arrow, right? Down arrow, yes, yes. You see, it's not, it's Watching. actually shift and alt, right? Shift, yes. alt. Yes. Shifts and alter button, you have to press together, then down arrow, it will copy it, okay? Then I just rename it. About, and this page is services, and this page is contact, say for example. All right, and these pages, uh, HTML pages will be different. So it will be about.html, say for example, about.html, this will be 
services.html. This will be contact. Contact.html, right? Now you can check. This has been created, okay? Now, uh, we want it to be index.html. You want to put, let's minimize it. How we can create these pages? About is not Q about, it is about. We can create in JS folder. Uh, we can create it here. Uh, we can create here. Okay, just new just new, new file. New just file. press new file, and you can say not not in the JS folder. Yeah, it's not in JS folder. You can just press here. Oh, it's no, going to still JS is yeah, JS it's, is connected. it's going to JS. Okay, JS is connected. Oh. Try to HTML. Select HTML, then <laughs> what we can do, we can create from here. Okay, okay, if, if, it, it, if it's a create problem, just go from here. So, well, what is the command to create file new file? Touch, right? Yes, touch, touch. about dot HTML. And what else? Touch services dot html. And just I say touch. Another one is what? Contact, right? Contact dot html. Now you can check ls. You see the blue. In color, these are what? These are folder and these are file, okay? Black in color are files. Now you can go and check, you see? Everything has been created. So about, you can say, you can say uh, H1 about us, okay? And about us can be a couple of paragraphs. Lorem 100. There can be also picture. Uh, you can say Lorem 300, say for example. Okay. You can say P tag Lorem 200. And contact page, mm, you can start with HTML structure, no problem at all, okay? And this is what? Uh, you can say H1, what page is this? Contact, contact us and it can be p tag lorem 200 then there can be contact page you can uh, take a phone number name gmail address okay so you can create a form later uh, services you can say each one what happened in the wrong place i think each one you can say our services then you can say lorem gtag lorem 100 okay just Example, I'm showing it how you can do it. 
then just check it now. This is about page, this page, sorry, home page. This is about page, okay, right? Then this is services page. Then this is contact page. Just I'm showing as an example how we can connect all the pages together. Now, uh, we can make it in line and we can create also background color the way we want, okay? So maybe tomorrow we can complete it. Today I'm just showing you, giving an idea. Tomorrow again we can work on it and we can complete the website tomorrow, okay? Then we are here. Now, at the end, what do we have in a website? We have what? We have footer, right? Footer. In the footer, you can put maybe P tag. You can say copyright. Okay, copyright. Say, for example, it's 2020, and name of the company is, say, for example, we socially use, say, for example. Okay, then you can put your Gmail, you can put your uh, phone number, and so on, whatever you want to. Okay. Now footer, it can be ID. Now you can say footer is You can name it anything actually. Say for example, end result. So I take end result. Okay. What is it? This is value. This is ID is what? We call it attribute. Before the uh, is equal to sign, it is attribute. So this is attribute. And this is value, right? So I take the value, I copy it, and go to where? Go to actually style.css, and what is it? This is ID, ID starts with hashtag, right? end result, I just choose it. This is actually my footer. So I just say background color is mm, honey dew, okay? Say for example, with, I put 100%, you can say 900 pixel or 1000 pixel. Actually, uh, it will be in the requirement. Don't think about the sizes, width and height, okay? Everything will be on the requirement. We call it Bible, okay? So developer's Bible is what? Requirement. You cannot go outside of the requirement. Business analysts, business analyst engineer, or business analyst, whatever we say, or product owner, nowadays product owner, we call product owner, business analyst, they meet the client. Say for example, Google wants to hire 100 developers from Bangladesh to create their new web application. They hired our company, say for example, my company is uh, Nokrik something, okay? Nokrik company. Say for example, uh, cyber solutions. Cyber solution. Google is hiring cyber solutions. Now, cyber solution will send someone, they can be in the team, two, three, four, five, or just one. They will meet Google, uh, maybe T 
team lead, project lead. And ask what they actually want, okay? They will tell you what they want. According to it, business analyst will jot down the information and prepare the whole document. Document can be like a book, okay? It can be spiral binding, not a problem. Maybe 100 pages, maybe 200 pages. And every developer should go to go through the book before he start working, okay? Every developer, every software engineer must go through the requirement, the Bible, okay? Bible, uh, go through it and understand what the company is looking for actually. Then you start working. Actually, if you don't understand, you can ask your developer lead or the chip engineer chip shop, the software engineer, okay? Or lead engineer, whatever. Talk to him, talk to your team. First understand what is the product about, what they are uh, looking for. Then you have to start building. Then hide, say for example, hide, say for example, uh, 100 pixel. And color of the text is, say for example, um, you can take anything actually, brown. brown. Yeah. Now check it. Copyright. Ah, it didn't select. Then you have to check it again what you are making mistake and result is id okay this is id save it and see again and result it is end result it's no no mistake right yes so far but still it's not selecting you see oh it's selected now it's selected now Yes, sometimes you know browser sometimes goes very slow so it doesn't look good right so yes. what you can do you can change the color maybe background color you can say You can check crimson, okay? I take crimson. Then you have to change it because crimson and brown are almost same. Uh, make it yellow. Actually, you have nothing to do with the colors because you cannot choose it by yourself. It will be in the requirement, okay? You understand? Shubhajit? Yes. So, so this is now mm, your mm, footer. So header is, this is header. This is header. This is body, okay? And this is what? Footer. And you may have also sidebar. Tomorrow we will discuss it. Today it is too much for Subhajit, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, now what even you can do, you can say, you can give border color, or you can say text align, you can say it will be, text will be in the center, and it will be centered, you see, text align center, and you can provide what, you can provide also padding. Uh, you can say margin, margin is 25 pixels, say for example. Uh, so this is margin, okay? Margin is outside of the, you see? Outside of the content, this is margin, okay? Padding is here. Now, I'm giving it padding. Check it. 
padding is say for example 50 pixel and don't think about too much about pixels because after a couple of days couple of days you will be familiar what what are these pixels and don't try to memorize them don't memorize anything you don't need to remember anything just keep writing the codes okay keep practicing and automatically you can remember everything each and everything okay so in software engineering software development web development you don't need to remember anything not necessary everything is available in the on the net and you can consult w3 school for theory okay so just click on html this is w3schools.com click on html and step by step you can just click here and keep reading and practicing okay so after two weeks you will become expert in handling html okay everything is here how we do list how do we make paragraph okay okay and i want to make a border radius what is border radius Majid, Shojib. The fourth corner of the four corner of the border. Right. Corner of the corner of actually anything, you know. And just if you go here, uh, you will run HTML file, not CSS file. Mm. say for example you want this to become little radius okay the corner four corners of this d footer now what you can say you can just say border radius 10 pixel the corner become radius okay all right any question Any question? I no question? No question. Uh, like uh, at, at the body, what you can do? Border color is gray. Maybe you can change it to light blue. Maybe it will be better. Okay. And what do you want? You want margin. Say, for example, even you can choose the height and width. Uh, we say for example width of the website will be 1000 pixels say for example again don't about think about the pixel about the width and height because you you will not you you won't have to deal with all these things because it will be on the requirement okay so you don't need to think about the width and height. Width and height will be there. So you will just look at the uh, document Bible, okay? Uh, the requirement, and you will just following it. And maybe margin is zero auto. This is top right and zero zero uh, this is third one is at the bottom okay and on the left is again i want auto say for example and padding i want 25 percent 25 pixels say for example You see, now we have margin, right? Enough margin and we have enough 
padding also. Right? And we put here extra margin 25 pixel. Now we can remove this margin and it will come here. Understand? All right. Any question? Shubhajit, any question? No, sir, no question, but just I may have the video. Definitely. I will, <laughs> I will give you a couple of videos, uh, maybe how to download and configure the environment, okay? Yes. So then you can just practice a little bit don't worry at the very beginning maybe couple of classes you will be thinking oh my goodness i need i need time to practice use because yeah. uh, this is this is very new for me okay but now interesting now interesting. now this is this is html and css now i just want to show you a little bit javascript just yeah. go to google and here you will find three dots okay click here and then go to more tools go to developer tools mm -hmm. and here you find console and elements okay actually whatever we have written you can read it here you see Whatever we code it, whatever we program, you can read it here. Each and everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to learn all this right now. Just go to console. Okay. Even you can come directly. I think you can just say control alt I, I think. You can check here where it is. Uh, more tools. Developer tool is Control Shift I. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just control shift yeah, Control Shift I, and it will open automatically. You see. So software engineers, uh, they master it just by practicing you don't need to remember again if you remember you will be lost because you have to remember million of terms not possible each and everything is here whatever you want to like if you can't remember just go and just type here okay and it will show you right thing or you can ask google okay go to google and ask whatever you want Everything is available on the net. Okay. Now, uh, I want to run this again. And I want to just go to console. This is Control Shift I. And just clear it. And it has been cleared. And you can reset it if you want. You can make it bigger, whatever. And you can start writing your JavaScript code here. JavaScript can add 100 plus 10, 110. Press enter. There is result. Okay. You can say A equal to 5,000. And JavaScript needs semicolon after each and every program. After each line. Okay. And B is equal to say, for example, always keep space so that it looks clear. Mm -hmm. I can say 1000. And you can say 
C shaman is equal to A plus B. Okay, and you can print. How you print? You can see the output console dot log. And this. Now you can print any one like you just one print C. Okay. And if you want to print some more, just you can actually, you see, the result has been printed. You can print maybe just A. Five hundred. You can print just B. Now you're thinking, what the hell? What I will do all these things, right? But these are the foundation of any programming language. Now, what is A? What is B? What is C? A is a variable. Variable means container. This is a container where you can uh, store data, okay, single data. So you are storing 500 inside A, storing 1000 inside B. Mm -hmm. Actually, I said 5000, but I wrote 500, okay. So uh, I can say B is actually 5000. I can correct it. Okay, now B is 5,000. If I say uh, A plus B, result is 5,000. 500. 500, okay. But I didn't change A. Actually, I need to change the A, right? A. A. So A should be bigger. So I maybe keep 10,000. Now, if I say A plus B, it become 15,000, right? Now, I can clear it, clear. There is parenthesis. First bracket is called parenthesis in programming language. Second bracket is square bracket. And third bracket is curly braces, okay? Now, there is another, this is alert and parenthesis, okay? Alert is method. In every programming language, we have two types of methods. Methods are action. Action. Action is verb. Alert. What is the function of alert? Inverted comma. We use inverted comma when we use um, String, what are string? Data, data can be uh, many types. Data, one is string. String is character. We write by letter, okay? So whenever we write using letters A, B, C, D, this will be the string. So alert, you can say hello. Hello, sir. Welcome. We have uh, we have ninety percent discount today. So you are telling your visitors whenever they uh, visiting your website, you are alerting them. We have today ninety percent discount you want to grab their attention so that you can increase your sales. You see, when they go to the website, it will pop up. Hello, sir, <coughs> welcome. We have 90% discount today. Until he click on okay, he or she, you cannot move to other pages. So alert is used to grab attention of the users, okay. So these are the very basic uh, of JavaScript programming. Uh, you can use like, even you can say 
first name, first name, say for example, Shojit. Last name. Mm, what is it? Shojit, uh, your last name is? Chaudhary? Majid. Okay, Majid. Profession, say for example. This is now this is variable. Variable means container. You you are storing Shajib first name inside this container and inside last name you are storing Mazid and inside the profession variable it can be actually name can be anything software engineer now you want to display how you can do it console dot log you can say Hello. Hello, I am first name plus last name. You see, when I am writing last, the variables are popping up. These are not not like hello, I am. These are what? These are uh, what kind of data is this? This is string. Okay. These are not string. These are variable. It's popping up. And I say and I am a what software engineer, right? Yes. Will you write software engineer? No, profession. Just you'll write profession. Now, actually, mm, container or variable should be written in uh, small cap, but by mistake, I write. Capital cap, but still it will be working. Okay, now run it. In programming, we say execute, execute it. It says uncaught syntax. syntax error, unexpected token. What's wrong? I think the, for the profession. No, it's saying. Unexpected token. Uh, maybe for the dot. Full stop. Okay. After the profession. And console dot lock. Hello, I am first name, last name, and. I am a profession. Okay. Mm. So when are when you are using Google developers tool, it's not showing actually the line, but when you will write your code here, it will tell you where the mistake is. Okay, which line it will show in the line. Okay then it will be easier to identify, but I don't want to show it today because it will take more time. Uh, let's try to figure out here. Mm, let me clear it first. So, 
token, unexpected token, token. Uh, let me see. Actually, it is for this dot, okay? Because profession is already there, but this yes. dot is not defined. In there. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I always it will be, have to yeah, take that. It will be inside there. Oh, really? Okay, great. So how I am bringing it back? Just use the... Uh, up arrow, okay? When you click up arrow, it's coming back the uh, commands, whatever you wrote earlier. So you have to say plus Okay, now it will work, I think. You see? Hello, I am Sajib Mazid and I am a software engineer. Now, what do you have to do? You have to make it separate. How you can do it? You know? So what you can do spaces. you can make spaces using like this, okay? And you can use space here. All right? Right. Save it. Oh no. What's wrong? Shojib Mazi. First name Shojib. Okay. I think there is some space. Yeah, there will be space. Yeah. Spaces in the, in yeah, one more form. one more space, right? Space. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. Now it's working. Terrific. Okay. So this is JavaScript. Now you can program and you can do a lot of things actually. No. Uh, I'll take 10 more minutes, okay? Okay. Now we have JS folder here, right? Yes. So you can actually write JS scripts here. You can say A is 2000 B Close to go to five hundred. One hundred. Okay, ten. Okay, whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> and you just say console dot log. A plus B. Now, you you have to uh, say, for example, you, you want to run also alert. Hello, Shaji and Shuboji. So. You have JavaScript file, but you should connect with what? Index HTML. Yeah, with HTML. So it will be connected within the body. Yes. Okay, body. So you have to say scripts. And it should give the SRC, means the path. What is the path? Oh. Path is JS. Yes. JS. JS. Let's JS. Okay. Now, when you will run a. You see? Hello, Suji Ben Shubhazi. Yes. Now, where is the console.log? If you want to see the console.log, then you have to go to Control Shift I.
And now if you run again, it will pop up here, okay, whatever you do. Okay, it's just, just basic idea. Don't think about it. I'm not telling you to learn it. We are not yet there. I'm just showing you these are not like rocket science. Just to show Shuboji, these are not rocket science. You can learn it. Anyone can learn it. In Bangladesh, we say, come on, you studied commerce and now you want to become software engineer. Impossible. You have to know science, you have to know math, this and that. In America, even after 60 years old, 70 years old, people are becoming physician, doctor, engineer. Some doctors are coming back to teaching, okay? Anytime they are changing their profession. Anytime they can become a doctor, anytime. So if you can invest one or two hours every single day, if you can practice, you can become whatever you want. So this is JavaScript. Now I want to show you a little about Python, okay? What is CMD? Come on. Okay, if I just write Python, let's say I just go to CMD and write Python. Python code editor is ready to write the code. When you see three, this three arrow yeah three arrow three angle bracket okay whatever you can just say a is equal to 5000 now in javascript we the syntax is a little different javascript and python in java and javascript you must put semicolon after each line but in python you don't need to put any semicolon. no semicolon so just be equal to 100 no semicolon enter okay and i just write prints print is console dot log okay so in javascript we to see the output we write console dot log parenthesis in python we just write Print. print and parenthesis. Enter 500. Then print. Parenthesis means first bracket. First bracket. Then you can write A plus B. This and you can you can also divide. A divided by B. B. Okay. So you can even multiple multiplication a multiple is start b b okay and even you can say if a is less than b then colon okay then you need indentation one space to the right i just press tab okay i say print so i say if a is less than b print a is smaller actually this a is small a yeah small a or I can say else, else, okay? Then I have to indent it. I have to indent one step right. Then say print. A is bigger. What do you think? What will be printed? If block or else block? Let's, let's see. Which one is bigger, A or B? 
A. A. Yes. So, where is A is bigger? In the else block, right? Yes. Press enter. A is bigger. So, this is bigger. Else is being printed. Not if. if. So, okay. these are small logic, but very effective in programming. Very important. And we have for loop. Like for I in range one hundred. So to print 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, I have to write print, 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 99 times, right? But with for loop, this is for loop, we call for loop, we can do it in just one time, just print I and it will print What's wrong? We need indentation. For I in range print I. Can you see it? Yes. So you are saving time. You're not, write, not writing 99 times. Range 100 means One, two, up nine. to 100, up to 100. So it will not print up to 100, it will print 99, one less, okay? So these are the... Python. Yeah, this saves your time. So programming saves your time ultimately. We can we can write everything on paper and it takes year after year to complete. And just using all this programming language, we can solve the problem within maybe one day that you will need one year. So this is the concept why we will program. We solve Programming can solve each and everything. Even in Bangladesh, we are not using artificial intelligence to uh, treat the corona affected people. But like in Singapore, they are using what? They are using artificial intelligence dog, just programming, through programming. In China, they use robots to distribute medicine in the hospitals. Nurses didn't go to the uh, each and every word. They just send control robots to serve medicines to the affected people. And these are not that expensive. Government can do it, but we have to have idea about technologies not idea we need we are, we need some good intention intention if you don't have idea from where you can get the intention they don't have idea like i see the minister they, I, they have ideas but they don't have good intentions uh, they don't they have ideas they don't have ideas even like uh, your law student become ict minister it <laughs> minister he studied law and the health minister studied English literature. This guy become health minister. So he is ignorant about the health industry. And the advocate, an advocate become ICT minister. He is ignorant about the ICT. He doesn't have any knowledge about programming. Now he knows a couple of words, programming, okay, artificial intelligence and delivering that much speeches every single day. 
if he doesn't know how the artificial intelligence work, how the program work, how the software or, or web te technology can help us in um, health industry, how he can help. He doesn't have idea. Even, he, 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 you know, Bangladesh applied for PayPal and PayPal is ready to go anywhere in the in the, in the world anywhere because they they know about money they want to make money giving you money they want to give you loan and give you service and bring the money they want to make more and more and our government they came to PayPal office for take decision on a discussion how they can implement PayPal service in Bangladesh. But they don't know how to speak, how to talk with the people because they don't know the technology. So when PayPal are in a team for the discussion with software engineers, graphic designers, finance, uh, uh, software engineers, data scientists, and from Bangladesh they came with Shochip, okay, and this minister who doesn't know anything about finance finance technology. Judi ami na jani ki bolte se ora. Shete uttor judi dite na pare. Ama ke ki paper service diye dibe Bangladesh. ওদের সাথে কথা বলতে গেলে ওদের ওরা 10 টিমে আসছে বাংলাদেশে 10 টিম আসছে 20 জনের মধ্যে মিটিং হচ্ছে পেপালের কথা বাংলাদেশের কেউ বুঝতে পারছে না তো আপনাদের কি ফাইনান্স টেকনোলজি আছে আপনাদের কি ইঞ্জিনিয়ার আছে আর্টিফিশিয়াল ইন্টেলিজেন্স গুলো আপনার ইয়ে করতে পারে ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করতে পারে আপনাদের টিমে এরকম লোক আছে কিনা এটার উত্তর কি দিবে তারা ইফ দে ডোন্ট নো एक्सपार्ट मानुष दरकार আমি শুভজিতের কাছ থেকে সে ফর এক্সাম্পল আই এম গোয়িং টু বাই আ প্রোডাক্ট ফ্রম শুভজিৎ এন্ড শুভজিৎ ইজ আস্কিং মি এক্সকিউজ মি স্যার হাউ ইউ আর গোয়িং টু ইউজ আওয়ার সে ফর এক্সাম্পল নেম অফ দ্য প্রোডাক্ট ইজ এস প্রোডাক্ট এন্ড আই ডোন্ট নো হোয়াট ইজ এস প্রোডাক্ট আই জাস্ট ওয়েন দেয়ার ও আই নিড হেল্প ফ্রম ইউ then discussion will not be carried on the problem is this ekhon bangladesh to ichha korle ekta ekta desher sarkar kintu ichha korle ei paypal er moto ekta online banking shuru korte pare paypal er bikolpo banai felte pare ichha korle kintu amader to oi technology thakte hobe idea thakte hobe মন্ত্রী দিয়ে রাখছি ব কলম সে তো মানে টেকনোলজির জন্য ব কলম আমাকে যদি মেডিকেল স্টেটোস্কোপ দিয়ে পাঠাই দেওয়া হয় আমি তো ডাক্তার হিসেবে তো আমি ব কলম হব মানে এগুলো প্রপার প্রপার মানুষকে প্রপার জায়গায় না দিলে ডাক্তার দীপুমণি হি হ্যাজ ডিগ্রিস फ्रॉम ইংল্যান্ড এন্ড फ्रॉम আমেরিকা অন মেডিকেল সায়েন্স এন্ড হি ইজ অলসো অন অ্যাডভোকেট and and she is also advocate she is an education minister the education at the training night she doesn't have any training on education she doesn't have a uh, masters in education she doesn't have bachelors in education so shikha byabostar ei ja ekta idea ache bhasha bhasha oi diye to ar montrono cholbe na and man ei rokom তারপর এই বিজ্ঞান ও প্রযুক্তি মন্ত্রী 
science and technology minister is 77 years old 77 years old he's a technocrat technocrat minister he's, Seven, he's not <laughs> 77 years old যে এখন মরার জন্য প্রস্তুতি নিচ্ছে ওকে মন্ত্রী দিয়ে রাইখাত আমার লাভ নাই আমি বিশ্বাস করি সে উনি উনি কিন্তু আর্কিটেক্ট বইতে পড়াশোনা করা আমি বুঝলাম উনি টেকনোলজি অনেক জানেন কিন্তু মডার্ন টেকনোলজি সম্পর্কে কি উনার কোনো আইডিয়া আছে পৃথিবী কোথায় গেছে সেই 30 বছর 30 বছরও না 50 বছর আগে পড়াশোনা করছে এখন তো পড়াশোনার টাইম নাই 77 বছর বয়সের একটা মানুষকে বিজ্ঞান প্রযুক্তির মন্ত্রী দিয়ে রাখছে উনি কি করবেন কি চিন্তা করবেন আমি জানি না উনি উনাকে বড় যে পরিকল্পনা মন্ত্রী দেওয়া যাইত ঠিক আছে উপদেশটা দেওয়া যাইত বাট 77 বছরের বয়স একটা বুড়া মইরা যাব কা কোন দিন পর সে টেকনোলজি নিয়ে কি চিন্তা করবে তার তো পাঁচ ওয়াক্তার জায়গায় সাত ওয়াক্ত নামাজ পড়তে দিন যাবে গা আগে রাখা হইছে শুধুমাত্র ওই যে আপনার রূপপুর পাওয়ার প্ল্যান্টের জন্য কারণ তার সাথে চায়নাদের রাশিয়ানদের সখ্যতা হইছে উপদেষ্টা রাখলে কি সমস্যা ছিল मिनिस्टर রাইকে আমি তাকে উপদেষ্টা রাখলাম मिनिस्टरের উপরে তো मिनिस्टर মানে আমার ভালো তো উই হ্যাভ কিছু তো সাত উই হ্যাভ 1000 প্রজেক্টস জাস্ট টু ইমপ্লিমেন্ট ওয়ান প্রজেক্ট উই আর কিপিং হিম অ্যাজ আ मिनिस्टर দিস ইজ মানে शेष मन कर यांग चले पे देश आते हैं अमी बोशी टेक्नोलॉजी या आलोचना कोडी जो तो तो को जानी शेखानु चेष्टा कोडी बिकॉज़ आई वांट चेंज शुजा गोथा आई वांट चेंज इन द यूनिवर्सिटी वी आर टीचिंग थ्योरी ये आम्र आज के जो तो तो को शिक्षी ये जा दुई बसर कंप्यूटर ओनर्स पोरार पोरे ये तो को करते � Yes, I believe you. तू ही बोसर पोरे, अमरा जो तुझको कोर्से होते तुझको शेख कोरे देखेते पर बना. Because I know someone. Yeah, he knows theories a lot. I met hundred computer scientists from our country. About twenty twenty five people learn programming from me. हमें जिगेश को तम प्रोग्रामिंग क्या नो कोर बन. Why do you program? Uttor nai. Why do you learn programming? If I ask now Shubhajit, why will you learn programming? What will you answer? Programming? Why you will learn Shubhajit? Programming kya no shikba? E uttor dite parba na? সজীব কি উত্তর দিবা মেশিন লার্নিং সফটওয়্যারের সফটওয়্যারের কাজ সফটওয়্যারের কাজ অনেক দ্রুত করার জন্য আমি যে সফটওয়্যার ইউজ করি সেই সফটওয়্যার আপনি যদি প্রোগ্রামিং এর মাধ্যমে করি তাহলে আমি যে কাজটা একবারে করতে পারি মানে যে কাজটা আমার 20 বার সময় লাগবে সেটা আমি একবারে করতে পারি রাইট এটা হচ্ছে কি প্রোগ্রামিং এর গুরু সেটা সেটা আমি অনেক সময় বাঁচাতে পারি প্রোগ্রামিং সময় বাঁচাতে পারবো সময় বাঁচাতে পারি
the yes. same time. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, you utilize the. Utilize, utilize time, utilize uh, money, power, power. Money, yeah, yeah. power, everything. Shojibir Munia says, John, engineer American Porto, I have a lot of people who are doing this. I have a lot of people who are doing this. I have a lot of people who are doing this. I have a lot of people who are doing উনি কয় বছর উনি ব্যাংকে কাজ করেন ব্যাংকের ইঞ্জিনিয়ার হিসেবে কাজ করেন উনি 21 বছর 21 বছর 21 ইয়ার্স উনি ছিলেন হলো নেটওয়ার্ক ইঞ্জিনিয়ার এখন কি হইছে তার তার ব্যাংক তাকে বলছে আপনাকে 6 মাস সময় দিলাম 6 মাসের মধ্যে আপনার চাকরি থাকবে না সে বলছে কেন থাকবে না তো বলছে এখন তো নেটওয়ার্কের কাজগুলো Cloud a Kajutse Jeta Exosan Tarakatskoto, or the Dujoni Kotebarekon Shop Kisu automation a Cholizatse Python programming the automate Korazai, Shop Kazgulu Exosan Katskoto de Banke, a network engineer, a Honora Bolsamatro Dujon Rakbe, and Dujoni Kotebarbe Kidia, Python programming there. Epto Matai Bari. She পরে আমাকে খুঁজে বের করলো সে বলল যে আচ্ছা অটোমেশন কিভাবে করতে হয় অটোমেট আমি ইউটিউবে আপনার একটা ভিডিও দেখলাম তা আমি বললাম ওর তো সেলিনিয়াম দিয়ে করা যায় সে প্রথমে আসলো আমার এখানে আমি তাহলে সেলিনিয়াম শিখব তাহলে সেলিনিয়াম শিখতে গেলে তো তোমার পাইথন শিখতে হবে সো হি স্টার্টেড উইথ পাইথন ওকে দেন হি সেড ও মাই গডনেস দেন আই नीड टू लर्न हाउ टू ऑटोमेट then he learned selenium okay then ekbar class e bollam je eta kintu robot framework deo kora jay ami bollam ki acha ki jinish robot framework let me see ami take dekhailam ektu bole je amar to etei dorkar tritiyo course korlo she amar kache tar pore bolteche তার বস কে বলছে যে আমি তো প্রায় 5 মাস করলাম এখন তো এগুলো জানি তো আমারে রাখবা না আমি তো জানি এখন এগুলো আমি শিখে ফেলছি তারে বলছে যে তো এটা তো সময় হয়ে গেছে দেরি হয়ে গেছে অলরেডি আমরা সিদ্ধান্ত নিছি কোন দুইজনকে রাখব তো মাথাই বাড়ি তারপরে সে বলল না এটা না ওটা তারপরে আমার কাছে আরেকটা কোর্স সে করল বলছে তাইলে তো আমার ফ্রন্ট এন্ড জানা লাগবে সে বলতেছে Backend, I'm a front end. Sarah came with them. She is a front end. She clue. Erocom Kore Johon She, Eglujan, Eglujanet, our boss Takebulo, the Sheshir, Masha Takejigishkulo. The mother cook carablax at the market's headed it over mother to me on a balutilla. Kinto Eta Upor labeler she danto. So to my Judish Homoilage. মানে জব পাওয়ার জন্য তোমাকে আরো আমরা 3 মাস সময় দিতে পারি তো আরো 3 মাস সে আমার কাছে ট্রেনিং নিল তার 9 মাস দেন সে আবার তার বসের সাথে দেখা করছে যখন শেষের দিকে যে আমি তো চলে যাব আমার তো জব হলো না তো তাকে তার বলছে যে আচ্ছা তুমি কি কি ট্রেনিং করছো যে এগুলো করছি আচ্ছা তুমি তো এখন অনেক কিছু জানো তাইলে তুমি এক কাজ করো জব নাও পর্যন্ত তুমি থাকো আর 3 মাস থাকো দেখো 3 মাসের মধ্যে হয় কিনা Sharo tin mas shomoy pailo. She ek bochor amar ekhanei katai dilo. Pore ta ke tar boss bollo. Tumi eto kisu jokhon nije ke change kore felso ek bochore. Je tuma ke ar amra chhatte sina. Abar rai ke dilo. Mane she je kosto korse tar ekta fall she paisa. So this guy really genius ekta guy. Ami dekhi she. মানে একটা জিনিস সে চুপচাপ থাকে শুনতে থাকে শুনতে থাকে না বুঝলে সে ক্লাসেও কিন্তু কোশ্চেন করে না সে পরে কোশ্চেন করে হি হি নেভার আস্ক ইন দ্য ক্লাসরুম দেন হি উইল নক এন্ড সে এক্সকিউজ মি স্যার কুড ইউ প্লিজ গিভ মি 10 মিনিটস মোর শিওর একজন নেটওয়ার্ক ইঞ্জিনিয়ার তো তারপরে 
তার বেশি বেতনে জব হয়ে গেল সে চলে গেছে আরেক জায়গায় কোম্পানি তাকে ছাইরা দেয় এখন সে কোম্পানি ছাইরা চলে যায় পৃথিবীর সব থেকে ধনীরা হলো সফটওয়্যার ডেভেলপার সব থেকে ধনী টিচাররা হলো ওয়েব ডেভেলপার টিচার প্রোগ্রামিং টিচার আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইয়া সো দিস ইজ দা ইন্ডাস্ট্রি ওয়্যার ইউ ক্যান মেক হিউজ মানি মেবি ইন নেক্সট 5 ইয়ার যা আর্ন করতে পারবা সারা জীবন অন্য জায়গায় কাটাই আসে এটার 10% পাবা না বাট এট দা ভেরি বিগিনিং it's not easy not easy you have to practice okay okay that's all for today if you have any question or we can stop here for me no question okay i know you want to come back like koshe right you want to ask later Okay. <laughs> I I I I love his trick and ideas, you know. So he he will come back to do classes uh, on back end engineering. She amader class e abar ashbe shesher dike. Back end engineering shekhar jonno. Thik ache? She to programming er onek kichu jane? Mhm. She she abar ashbe shesh class korar jonno. Shesher dui mash hoyto ba class korbe tomader sathe. Uh, he is real genius ami mane khub kom manush dekhchi ar eto dhorjo manusher eto dhorjo ami to oi je sojib ke nangrim ke oder dhorjo ache ora laige ache kintu oder ke majhe majhe ami class nei na class dei na ami haraiya jai ei corona ei internet connection somoshya ei somoshya thik ache ora kintu polaiya jay na laige ache ami ashcharjo hoychi thik ache ধৈর্য থাকতে হবে অন্তত পক্ষে এক বছর লাইগা থাকতে হবে সিক্স মান্থস এন আফ যদি তিন চার ঘন্টা সময় দেওয়া যায় বাট যদি ওরকম সময় দেওয়া না যায় এক বছর এক ঘন্টা দুই ঘন্টা এক বছর লেগে থাকতে হবে পুরো কনসেপ্টটা মানে ক্লিয়ার করার জন্য ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্টলি চিন্তা করতে পারা কম্পিউটারের মতো করে চিন্তা করতে পারা ইটস ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট থিঙ্কিং লাইক আ কম্পিউটার ওকে তো আমরা আরেকটু পরে দেখব যে আরো আট দশটা ক্লাসের পরে যে কম্পিউটার কিভাবে থিঙ্ক করে কম্পিউটার অনেক লজিক আছে যেটা কম্পিউটার তো আমাদের এবিসিডি বুঝে না সে শুধু 0 আর 1 পড়তে পারে বাইনারি সংখ্যা হ্যাঁ 0 এন্ড 1 পড়তে পারে এটা দিয়ে সে এত কিছু কেমনে বুঝে তো এগুলো আমরা ধীরে ধীরে দেখব ওকে সো थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय हैव अ नाइस इवनिंग गुड नाइट गुड नाइट इट्स गुड नाइट राइट बाय